Hello and welcome. Esteban here with All American Print Supply Co. Thank you so much for joining us. As you may have read, today we're going to be going over the direct to garment transfer or DTF hot melting powder and eco freeing transfer film. Now, before we get started, if you're watching us on YouTube, why don't you go ahead and drop a thumbs up right now and go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. And while you're at it, tap the post notification bell so you never miss any of our awesome print related content. And if you do have any questions or for more information on the direct to garment transfers or DTF, processes and products, be sure to leave those in the comments down below. Let's get started. Direct-to-garment transfer printing, or DTF as you may have read, is a kind of a special process. For this, we're not printing directly onto the material, but rather are using a direct-to-garment printer to print our images onto special film, and then once applied with our eco-freen hot melting powder, we can then store, ship, sell, or apply these high resolution images directly onto not only cotton blends, but a variety of synthetic materials that have previously been difficult or even impossible to DTG onto. Today we're going to be working with our Ecofreen hot melting powder and Ecofreen direct to garment transfer film, also known as DTF. Some of the reasons we love these products, first and foremost, is going to be Ecotech certification. Ecotech certification is from a governing board that covers all the textile sort of printing and lets us know that they're safe for not only the printer, but the wearer as well. Additionally, we can enjoy high quality super resolution graphics with no pre-treating, no weeding, a clean application, high resolution images, and a soft high end hand feel. We're going to be going over step by step and also compare with a competitor's film and show how much we really prefer this product here. When paired with our Cathari NeoRip software, the direct to garment transfer or DTF process has never been easier. This is sort of an outside the box printing method in that not only are we mirroring or reversing our image, we're also going to be laying down the color and then the white underbase. Where traditionally on fabric, we're putting white underbase first and the CMYK on top. Thanks to our extensive testing and research, we've created a custom profile for all of our NeoRip Cathari users that will tell the printer exactly how to layer the ink and how much ink. And by that I mean we're actually going to be enjoying a nice ink savings with the software in that for the film transfer printing, we don't need to lay down as much ink as we would for a traditional t-shirt. Too much ink on here or the traditional rip settings will actually puddle and pool the ink to where we can actually no longer use the film. All we have to do is select our direct to film or direct to garment transfer environment, drag in our artwork, invert the image, and we're ready to send the print. After we have our printed image onto our direct to garment transfer or DTF film, it's time to apply the hot melting powder. For safety purposes, because this is technically a powder adhesive, we do advise always wearing a face mask when applying the powder. So all I'm going to do now is remove my film, bring this over to my powder tray, and we're going to apply a light mount of the hot melting powder. Now what I like to do is lay a kind of a barrier on both sides of the film and then using a back and forth motion, sort of move the powder so that it coats all of the wet ink in a nice even layer. And we don't need a whole lot of the powder. Again, we just want to make sure that all of the wet ink catches a nice even layer. This is how we avoid the pre-treating, avoid any weeding or cutting, and apply our high resolution image onto a variety of fabrics. After we've applied the hot melting powder, to make sure we get the cleanest image possible, you do want to aim this away from anyone in the room and go ahead and flick the film. This is to remove any excess powder that may be on our film so that we transfer only our image. Looks perfect. After we've applied a nice even layer of the Ecofreen hot melting powder to our direct to garment transfer or DTF film, it's time to cook the powder. So we're gonna go ahead and bring this over to our Stahl's Hotronic 1620 auto open. And using a temperature of approximately 285 degrees Fahrenheit, we're gonna go ahead and hover the heating element for between, I'd say about one to two minutes, depending on the size of the image. Basically, we wanna go ahead and cook this until we see a nice glazed appearance. Now that we've gone ahead and cooked our Ecofreen hot melting powder onto our printed image with our direct to garment transfer or DTF film, we're ready to apply. 
Now, one of the things I really love about the eco-free line of direct-to-garment transfer film or DTF is the very user-friendly transfer film itself. It has a very distinct non-print and print side, which is labeled by a glossy and matte appearance. Some transfer films we've worked with are very difficult to determine which side we're supposed to print on, which can be dangerous if you don't remember, in that we can also lose the ink and the film if we don't print on the correct side. So let's go ahead and position our garment in our heat press. Now we're going to place our transfer film with our printed image that we've cooked our Ecofreen hot melting powder onto. And using that same temperature of approximately 285 degrees Fahrenheit, we're going to be applying this for roughly 15 seconds. After this is done, the process is what they call a cold peel. So what I like to do is set the finished garment off to the side so it can return back to normal room temperature, continue my production as normal, and in no time at all, we're ready to remove that film and have a great finished final product. That should be plenty. Now let's see what the competition's film looks like. As I mentioned, some competitors' direct-to-garment transfer or DTF film can be a little difficult to use. This, for example, has a near identical print and non-print side. And had I not left myself this little mark in the corner, I honestly would not be able to tell which side is supposed to be facing up to receive the print. But we're going to go ahead and run the same image, same quality settings, again, using our proprietary direct-to-garment transfer or DTF printing profile. And again, this is going to optimize not only the amount of ink that we're using, but also our time in that this tells the printer exactly what order to layer the ink. Again, guys, with direct-to-garment transfer or DTF, we're gonna be doing things reverse. The image itself is mirrored, and we're laying down the CMYK and then the white base after. Let's see how this one finishes up. After our direct-to-garment transfer or DTF that we applied to our fabric has returned back to normal room temperature, it's time to remove the film. The technique I like to use is a smooth, controlled, continuous motion, low against the shirt and not up to the ceiling, like so. Perfect. Now we're almost done. We've already got a high resolution transferred image with great stretchability. Now this last step is gonna help remove any kind of gloss or shine to the image, as well as possibly help melt any additional powder that were left on but we weren't able to flick off. Again, using our 285 Fahrenheit, we're gonna press this for about five seconds. This is just gonna be a quick finishing press. After that, we'll be all done. We'll take a look side by side how this compares to that competitor film. Look at that. And here we have our two finished products. Visually, the resolution on both is quite impressive. I want to say when paired with our Ecofreen hot melting powder, you can really get great success using this direct-to-garment transfer or DTF process. Looking at these side by side, we'll throw it to a close-up in a second. I do feel the Ecofreen line of transfer film is a little bit better as far as how much dust and powder we were able to release in our final product, but resolution and stretchability wise, I say things are pretty neck and neck. Again, we used our direct-to-garment transfer film and hot melting powder for the DTF process. And I would say that our film is going to be slightly more user friendly in that, like I mentioned, the print side and the non-print side are distinctly identified as gloss and matte finishes, which is going to make production a lot easier and quicker, especially when paired with our Cathari NeoRip software with the included direct-to-film or direct-to-garment transfer profile. Man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you saw how easy it is to use our Ecofreen line of direct-to-garment transfer or DTF products. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, be sure to drop a thumbs up and leave some comments down below. And if you have not already, hit that red subscribe button and tap that post notification bell so you're always the first to know on any of our new content. My name is Estevan, we are All American Print Supply. Thank you so much for joining us today. For more information on any of these products or processes, be sure to visit us at aaprintsupplyco.com and we'll see you on the next one.